Hey guys, and I wanted to bring up a video here, and this is for anybody that has CB or ham radio, why it's pretty important to get a lightning arrestor, okay? Uh, this is actually a lightning arrestor that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll show you. It's kind of how it looks. So there's a part that goes into your coax and a part that goes into the base of your antenna. Um, this is a cable here, a crimp. You could solder this, you solder this, and this goes to your ground. Put it right in like that. This will allow the, if your uh, antenna does get hit, for the electricity to go to just the ground. And harm, it won't harm uh, your radio equipment. You know, you hopefully you have uh, electrical surge protectors, but this is from uh, your, your electromagnetic, you know, electricity could hit your antenna and burn it out. Basically, it's pretty simple the way it works. Most antennas on the bottom of them would have, okay, or you can plug this in. This goes to your coaxial, and this bottom part here goes into the base of your antenna, just right like that. You can put some, um, uh, tape around there, you know, or encase it in silicone so it's protected. A lot of people don't recommend that because that prevents uh, your um, drainage. So, but this just basically goes into this, way like this, to the base of your antenna. This will plug into it. So I wanted to show you that. This is made by Workman, but there's a lot of different types. And this is only about six or seven bucks. Well worth the habit. Um, and uh, comes just like you see. And that is, I got it on Amazon, it's a, uh, here's the number off of it, X000SKJ2UR. I'm not advertising for any companies, I'm just, just showing you that this is a, uh, a lightning arrestor um, that is good to have on any kind of equipment that you have. So thanks a lot for tuning in, but that is my lightning arrestor.